Hi, Vladimir. Are you okay? Hi, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, how's your squad looking, Vladimir, from Tuesday night? Any any new injuries? Mm, you know, uh, yesterday we had a day off, and today we start to work uh, and to prepare ourselves for the, the game uh, against uh, Birmingham. And today we did have some some news about some of uh, serious injury. Maybe some of the players uh, is tired, but it's normal that. Uh, uh, second day after the game, uh, they felt uh, they felt a little bit uh, still tired. Other things, other problems, uh, we don't care. Some of the ones that missed out recently, any chance of them coming back? Kathkar or Gray or any of the other ones? Yes, yeah, some of them. Some of them maybe will be with us. Will be in the squad for the next game. It, we've had this stretch of games: Saturday midweek, Saturday midweek. How much has that taken that out of your players? You know, it's 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 tough rhythm. We know it, and uh, it's tough rhythm for the all other teams, not just for us. And we need to recover as fast as possible uh, after the game to prepare ourselves uh, and uh, physically and tactically for the next one. This is what we try to do, and what we do doing what we did from the beginning. We have enough people here who take care about recovery for the players, and uh, uh, we need to, we, we work a lot about our our preparation. Uh, for every next game, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's teamwork, all of us uh, have some specific uh, job to do and, uh, you know, I believe that the players is, uh, is satisfied with this, what we, what we gave to them uh, until now, but we need to continue. Did you realise the championship was going to be this intense? Did you know it was going to be like this? Yeah, I know it. I know it before I came that it's a very intense uh, and the rhythm of the games and the, and the games uh, and the way how the most of the team play here, uh, it's uh, specific. It's not something usually what you can find in the, in the other country. That means to, you know, we need to adapt as fast as possible uh, to be ready for, uh, for this, uh, this game, what you have ahead. And uh, uh, my, my, my motive and my motto is to, 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 pre to just go game by game. And, to, to try to improve my team and to take from my player every game 100%. Do you think your squad is good enough to cope with all of these games at the moment? You know, uh, we know what squad we have now. Uh, we know when it's end, it was end of the, of the transfer window. I uh, believe that the next transfer window will be soon. And uh, we will prepare uh, all this what we need and what we didn't do maybe in the previous transfer window to do now. How close is Will Hughes to getting a starting position, Vladimir? He's, he's, is it, very, it he's very close. He's very close. Maybe he should start and in the previous game it was 50-50 if I will start with him or not. I decide to, to start from the bench again second the game because I believe this is the, 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 the process what he need to do and, and we did it for, with other players. When one player coming after a long period, uh, he need to take the time, and uh, sometimes it's a risk to start immediately with him. But now, I believe that after this game and after these 30 minutes, how long he played, 35, that uh, he's ready and to be starter, and maybe he will start in the next game. What did you make of Dini and Peritza as a partnership in attack? You know, it's uh, we have uh, five strikers, and uh, in this moment, uh, when we play this system, uh, two of them will play. Uh, it's a different style of the players, and uh, I believe that they, they they had a good chemia between them in this game. Uh, some some good movements, some good uh, uh, some good uh, um, uh, assistage for other, and uh, especially in the first half, because the both of them is the player player of the box area, and uh, both of them is the player who will attack the cross, and this is something what is good for the team, especially when you have. Uh, a player uh, who can uh, who can create uh, from the wide this uh, this cross. We're a third of the way through the season now. How, how pleased have you been with the attitude of your players? You know, it's. Uh, I believe that all the teams and we are one of these which have uh, some 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 problems from the beginning. You know, doesn't matter which problem, but uh, all of us need to to manage this and. Uh, uh, how I'm pleased of, 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 of our performance, I'm sure that we could do and better things and uh, we should do better things uh, again in a lot of games. Uh, you know, now if uh, 
uh, if it's a realistic uh, our position in the in, in, in the in in the in the table now in this moment I don't want to speak about that uh, I leave it to you to speak about that but again I believe that this squad can do do better things and I expect that we will do it in the in the in the future It's uh, an away game this weekend, Vladimir. The away form hasn't been as good as the home form, we know that. Will you try and change your approach to away matches or will you stick with kind of what you've been doing so far? We try to achieve uh, every away match is uh, three points. Uh, I said a lot of time. Uh, we never go for the game to, to, to calculate and to don't, don't give our maximum and to think maybe about uh, some other result. Now it's uh, why it, uh, why we didn't uh, achieve more points away. It's uh, something what we what we work on it. We discuss uh, and between us and with the players and uh, try to change uh, a lot of times in our way how we play and our attitude. And uh, you have have a lot of things what we need to to improve uh, to to play better football and to to play uh, and to and to achieve more points. Now that you're getting some of some of the players back again, might you be able to play a bit more on the front foot away from home? You know, uh, when we get some uh, more players back, uh, that means to, you know, if they are stay some long period outside, two, three weeks, uh, you cannot expect from them from the beginning that they will be on the top level. I said a lot of times this, that means we need to, to, to give them time normal, but again, uh, to, uh, to be realistic and to, to waiting for them to, to to come back as fast as possible in the top level. Uh, you know, in the football you can not provide something what's going to happen in the next next games. So for me, it's important that all of them is healthy and uh, all of them can work uh, every day with me outside and to give maximum 100%. If they are ready for the practice, they will be ready and for the game. A, a final one for me. What, what do you know about Birmingham, like the Karanka's side? They've picked up two wins in their last couple of games. Um, what, what, how do you think they'll play? You know, they they had changed a lot of uh, a lot of uh, system uh, from the beginning, and they had one one they had one very serious and good coach. And uh, you know, uh, how they will play against us, they can use two three different system. But again, uh, for me, it's important. It's it's a good team, uh, good uh, good uh, good players. They had uh, good uh, individual players. Three, four of them is the players who can, who can create every time uh, problem for the for the opponent. But again, for me, it's important how we will be in this game and how we will play. You know, and uh, my attitude of my player and of my team. If we are on the top level and if we are concentrated, focused, I believe that uh, the game will be good for us. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you. Hi, Vladimir. Hi. So you've, I've noticed in the past couple of weeks, Mark Navarro has been back on the bench. Is it important to have another fullback option because you've been quite limited so far this season with fullbacks? Yes, it's important, and uh, normally for me, it's important every player to be to be ready to 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 be part of the squad and part if we need uh, to be to be on the pitch to be on the pitch. Yes, I agree that uh, he's an important player. We know that he didn't play a long period. Uh, in the last one year, maybe he did one or two games. Uh, in one game uh, in the cup, uh, where he where he get uh, get injured. Uh, but again, it's, it's important to be to be on the on the on the top level, and if the team need him to to come inside and to help us. Isaac's success has been talking to the club this week in an interview, um, and he looks closer to returning. Is he someone that you consider a, a strong option for your squad? Everyone I said before that it's important who is in the squad uh, and who is out of the, the squad in this moment because of uh, injuries. It's important to come back and to be with us. I expect them from him to be as fast as possible normally to be healthy and to start to work with the team. Uh, and I expect them from other. I expect now that then the Ms. Masina will come back and he will be with us in the next two, three days. Um, some players who stayed out for different kind of the reason in the, in the last two, three weeks. And uh, normally, everything is depends on them. They need to, to show, they need to fight for their position and uh, to be ready every time. And uh, the team need them to come inside and to, to, to give the maximum for the team. And you face a Birmingham side who are very strong defensively. That's, that seems to be their main skill. How do you approach a game against a side when you're away from home and they're, they're so strong defensively? 
you know, all the teams uh, fight uh, from the first until the last second of the game and defensively, and, and uh, you know, to prepare one game, it's not just to, to think about uh, about your opponent. It's to think normally respect them, to, to 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 watch them, to prepare the game. But for me, I said a lot of times, it's important how we will be, how we will uh, start the game, and how we will play in the first 45 minutes. How we will start second half, and how we will continue to play. Because in the until now we had uh, a lot of games where we where we walk different, uh, not the same in the in the two half in the, in the two times 45 minutes. Some games like last game, we start good, we play first 45 minutes uh, on the on the good level, uh, and after second half it was uh, how I can tell poor, not 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 good enough uh, to continue and to to do this what we prepare. Some other games it was opposite. We didn't start well the first half, but after we we, we, we push and we, we start to be this team what we what we want in the second half. You know, uh, what is the reason? Uh, you know, it's uh, try to fix it and try to find uh, the balance to have uh, this uh, this uh, this game to play 90-95 minutes uh, in the same rhythm. So it's not it's not easy for no one, but uh, I believe that we are we are aware to do it. And finally from me, you may have seen you've been nominated for the November Manager of the Month Award by the Championship. Is that something you care about particularly? Is it something that you, you like to see that you've been recognised for the team's form during November? Thank you very much for everyone and uh, first of all thank you to for my players because without them it's impossible to, to achieve these things. The players is this who made, who will make one player, uh, one, one coach good or less good, you know, and this uh, this uh, trophy for this November month belong to them first of all and belong to the, my coaching staff who is with me every day and we work together and we prepare all, all the games together, all the practice together and again uh, it's a collective job. Good luck on the weekend and thank you. Thank you. Hello Vladimir. Hello. How are you doing? I, I, okay. I won't keep you long. I just wanted to just check on the, on the various players. I know some are back and you've got today and tomorrow in between the game but is is Kapu back in your thoughts for this weekend? Yes, he start to walk uh, with us, uh, and uh, he will be one of option. So he's available. Um, Kafka is he ready yet, or is his hamstring? He is not. The... He is not ready yet. Do you know what the? Because I think I don't think we caught up in terms of his, the length of time after his scan. Is it a serious hamstring or not? It's something what could be in the next. In the, how they explain me that he will stay out uh, for five weeks. Into, four, or five, yes. four or five weeks. Okay. Yes. Um, and then Andre Gray, is he his hamstring? He's the same like uh, Etienne. Uh, he started to work with us, and uh, now it's a question just to see if he will use him for the next game or not. Uh, uh, and if he use him, how long he will be available to play. Okay. That's all from me. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Cheers. I'm glad to meet you. Just, just quick one from me. I want to ask about uh, confidence. You've, you've mentioned it after games, saying that confident, some of your players maybe aren't confident enough. How, how much of a problem is confidence for you and, and how do you help your players overcome that? No, to, 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 to have a confidence, uh, you need to, to, to be first of all ready in your mind and to prepare your mind for the game. Uh, and to work hard every day in the practice because confidence one player gets during the practice. Okay, and uh, this is uh, not something strange. I believe uh, that uh, the players understand it. Uh, normally, when start the game, sometimes you know it's official game. It's uh, we have a lot of young players who need to to adjust as fast as possible for condition of the game, and uh, we speak about we speak with them a lot. Uh, and I said especially with the young players who we have a lot of them in our squad. Uh, how they can uh, how they can get the confidence uh, when start the game and what is the way how they can use it. Believe and uh, we have uh, and some experienced players who can who can help them and who help them who speak with them and during the game and before the game and uh, you know like team uh, we, we 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 work a lot how to, to to start the game how to to use our quality what we want to do uh, and how we how we can get the confidence like team. You know, this is uh, this is hard work. Is uh, you know a lot of a lot of practices, a lot of um, meetings, a lot of uh, analysis, and uh, you know 
this is the, the, the way how we can uh, how we can achieve it. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Vladimir, just a, a couple. Of, do you know which um, areas in the uh, in your squad you want to improve in the January transfer window? I know, month? I know, I know it. And uh, in the pre in the previous uh, transfer, it was the same. Yeah. Uh, I know. I, I, I have clear. I have clear picture in front of me, and I know exactly what position the team need. And I will speak with the people uh, from the club to tell them and to inform them on the moment and I believe that now it's a moment where we need to move. Do you expect to be so you expect to be quite busy for players in and out or only maybe one or two players coming we'll in? See, we will see. We cannot speak now, you know, first of all we need to speak and with the I need to speak with the board of the club, first of all the people from the club and after and the players and to, 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 to see who will be which position we need and uh, maybe some of the players who is here who, who need to move somewhere else. The, the club has been linked with uh, Sami Kadira from Juventus. Is, is there any truth in that at all? I don't know something about it. No, nothing. Okay. Uh, and just one more. Um, do, you, do you feel like you, you know your best uh, team now? Do you know your best 11 players for this weekend's game or do you have uh, too many options? Um, if you ask me about the best 11, I, I, I have uh, 20, 21 players, 22 players, and all of them have chance to, to fight for first 11. In this moment, I believe that we have just uh, one or two players who didn't play in the championship. Okay, All of other players, they have played. And a um, lot of them, they didn't play just one or two games. They had seven, eight games until now. And I speak about one number of the players, 20, 21. Okay, normally some of them didn't play a lot because of the injury, but the uh, rest of them, no one, I believe, except of the maybe, maybe Sierra Alta, who, who play one game five minutes, ten minutes, and uh, maybe Mark Navarro, who, who played in the, in the beginning of the year cup game and he get injured in, the, in that moment and uh, he stay a long period outside. All other players, and normally and the keeper, Danny. All other players, I believe, they are played. They are played seven, eight games, you know, and uh, they had chance, and they will have a chance, you know, to show their quality. I a lot of times tell them, make me crazy, and uh, to don't know who will play. It depends of you, not depends of me. I don't have. A sense. I am not sensitive for no one of them. All of them is professional. I am professional, and you know. They need to fight for their position, and uh, they need to show their quality to to take this 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 start position in first eleven. Click here to subscribe.